Morning, everybody. It's me, Caleb. Hey, welcome to GOTV. Thanks for watching. Um, there is a couple of things I want to talk about this morning in two videos. So this is the first one. There'll be another one. Um, the first one is this dentist guy that um, has reportedly shot and killed this lion, says Cecil, in Africa. I just don't understand... And I've never understood hunting. I mean, I, I know that we we do live off of animals. There's some people that don't. They refuse to eat animals or any kind of uh, anything from animals. I personally do. I eat chicken. I eat beef. I eat pork. Not all the time. I'm actually trying to eat a little bit healthier these days. But I do eat meat. Um, however, I don't think anybody eats lions. Um... This, to me, is just despicable. Um, I just read a CNN article that says um, the guy regrets doing this. Well, I would too. I mean, it's a little late for that. It's a little late to regret it. If you were going to regret it, you shouldn't have um, done it in the first place. But this guy has received a lot of crap on social media. People are outraged they're so mad I mean people and people are really emotional about it too Jimmy Kimmel like got choked up last night on on his show talking about it I mean it's it's a serious thing people are really pissed about it um I shouldn't say that anyway um but it's YouTube so it's okay I guess but um he shot him with a bow and arrow apparently which was something common for this guy um it also said that he didn't know that it was a known um, lion that was tracked. I mean, they say that the guys, like, they found him, they, like, lured him out of the park, like, conservation area where he lived, and they, this Palmer guy shot him with a bow and arrow, then he got lost, or he, he ran away and had this bow and arrow suffering for, like, several uh, uh, hours, then they tracked him down again, and shot him with guns, and then skinned him, beheaded him, pulled the GPS out. You know, just terrible. Just, I'm, I can't. it's terrible, terrible, absolutely insane. Um, he paid like 50 grand to be a part of this hunt. I don't even make that much money in a year, okay? I, I don't understand how people could spend so much money to torture an animal like that. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Like, I just, my brain can't comprehend any of that. I really don't understand. Um, but he, his website's been taken down for his dentistry, um, practice. There's just a lot of people that are really upset about this, as they should be. And he's gonna, he's gonna have a lot of problems with this. They're gonna take him to court. They're, they're gonna, I feel like they're gonna charge these guys. It's, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna end very badly for him. Um, my thing is, I, I just got finished taking an interviewing class, and one of the biggest things that we talked about that's important in any kind of situation, whether it be an interview, anything that you're planning to do, homework is very important. And that's why it bothers me that he says he didn't know that this was a well-known lion who was well-loved, was like a big tourist attraction for the area. Um, I feel like if you're going to go on a hunt at all, not that I'm encouraging it, but if you're going to do it, especially in a situation like that, where there's issues with poaching and stuff like that in Africa, you should do your homework. Make sure that the area you're going to is not going to put you in a situation like this. Do I mean, b b bottom line is just do your homework. Make sure that you're not putting yourself into a stupid situation. Because if he didn't really know, if he's being honest, and he didn't know that that's where he was going, and that's that what, who that lion was, then that's his fault. He should have, you know, done his homework, researched, or just not done it at all. Okay? That's, <laughs> that's the bottom line. You shouldn't do it at all. But... I feel bad for the people who've put a lot of time into the life of that lion and who've done so much research, as well as just for the the poor lion itself. Didn't deserve that. Didn't deserve that treatment. The 
the pride, you know, it I, it said in that same article that I was reading from CNN that um, whoever is like the next in line who would take over that pride as far as like lion hierarchy goes, that he would kill all of the lion cubs that were produced by Cecil in order to put his bloodline into the females and have like his own pride now and it said that some of the females could even suffer from trying to protect their babies so that's something that they're going to have to really watch for also a lot of people are calling for um more uh serious laws as far as uh, hunting and poaching for certain animals in africa which i think is really important because there's so many animals now that are going endangered or that are going extinct because of poaching and hunting and it's just a really bad thing and i think that in order for those creatures to survive there's got to be some more strict laws and stuff put in place and people are going to really have to start paying the price for stupid mistakes and stupid decisions like this because it's i feel like it's going to only continue to get worse people are vicious people have this weird mentality when it comes to killing animals that it's just i don't understand the I don't understand the fascination with it and like the the joy and stuff that comes with it. Again, some people may say that I'm hypocritical by saying that because I do eat meat and I eat animals, but I don't know. You can make up your own opinion of me on that. But anyway, I hate it for the I hate it for every poor animal that gets killed like that. It's just so sad. I hope this guy pays the price. I hope those this team that he went with pays the price. Um, I wouldn't go as far as say I hope he loses everything like uh, a couple of tweets said from people that were really, really mean but you know it, 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 you need to understand what he did and you know pay some sort of price for it there needs to be justice served for that lion and I hope that it is I would love to hear your thoughts and comments um, t tweet me at Caleb Graham on Twitter and Instagram and Periscope I'm also there all the same at Caleb Graham and comment here on YouTube, send me emails, send me whatever you want to say. I love to hear your opinions, and I will see you soon.